in a construction project, many professionals are involved and got different responsibilities to ensure that the project runs smoothly from start to finish. And a land surveyor is highly needed at the beginning of the project. In this video, you will learn some basic concepts and terms associated with land surveying, measurements, and calculations. Quantity surveyors are involved with the costs of the entire project, from start to finish. Ensuring the cost is within an estimated budget. They forecast the cost of the materials needed for the project. Land surveyors work with landowners, use mathematics, physics, and engineering principles to establish land boundaries. They also use dumpy level, automatic level, or theodolite, the modern type known as total station, to establish elevations above sea level. Boundary surveyors research the public record, take measurements, and perform calculations. They are required for construction boundaries and permit purposes. When you buy a property, you will definitely need a boundary surveyor to determine the boundaries of the property. What is benchmark? What is mean sea level? Consider this elevation. The sea level is the level of the sea. And from this level, there are different elevations. If this elevation is assumed to continue to the top of the highest structure, that means each building here has different level compared to the sea reference. These different elevations from the sea to each structure is called a benchmark and is the responsibility of surveyors to ensure that each structure got its benchmark on the property. The benchmark assigned to every property is unique. Every property got its own benchmark because every property is of different height elevation from the sea level. The sea level of every country is different. Surveyors will require this benchmark when they are working on your property. If there is no benchmark on that property, they can use the benchmark of adjacent property. But before this work starts, all permit document has been signed and agreed and has gotten approval. Before the advent of computer, benchmarks are marked on stones bricks and blocks of the property. There are four types of benchmarks used in surveying. A land survey number assigned to a benchmark is unique for every property and it contains record of information about the land, location, size, shapes, ownership, previous owners, height above sea level, and so on and so forth. If you're concerned about this around your property, you can see the local council. Why is this information important? For resolution of legal land disputes, for planning and development of adjacent areas, and for selling a plot of land. Every country has a datum point where they consider as a reference point to other elevations usually known as the lowest point in the country, called mean sea level. This is China's mean sea level. That is the sea level datum for all Chinese structures. The sea level for India, 
was located at Karachi, but has now been moved to Mumbai in the UK. The ordnance datum, the zero meter height on UK map, is the mean sea level measured in Newlyn in Cornwall between 1915 and 1921. What is backside, foresight, and intersight? As soon as you go to the construction site, the first thing is to locate a datum point. Next, set up your instruments carefully as instructed. Next, carefully read off the staff level or the rod. The first reading you take on site is called back sight. I believe this was helpful. Also, subscribe, like, and share. In the next video, we are going to start looking at height of collimation, thereafter rise and fall method. I will see you in the next video.